In 2019, the LPGA Tour is arguably stronger than it's ever been. The Rolex rankings currently have nine different countries represented in the top 20, and the Tour is well and truly embracing that diversity, with 12 different nations hosting tournaments this year. To capitalize on the exciting new generation, the LPGA this year unveiled a campaign aimed at both its existing fans and anyone considering embracing the sport of golf. The simple message, drive on. This is for every girl who's ever been laughed at or told she doesn't belong. This is for every girl who's been told she's too loud, too quiet, too this or too that. This is for every girl who thinks her body isn't good enough. This is for every girl who feels she doesn't fit in. This is for every girl who's been told that success and kindness are two different things. This is for every girl who's been told to give up. This is us crushing it for you. So you can crush it for the next girl. I saw it, I literally got goosebumps. I felt like I could go run a marathon. Um, it's just so inspiring, so encouraging. I'm so grateful to be part of the campaign, because especially like I grew up in Korean culture and then in Korea, women has been benched for a long time because we were women. Like we never really had opportunity because we were women. Like we never really had opportunity because our duty is more like supporting men. Um, so I think it's really great to see like women's golf can lead something. We're not just young girls or women out there playing golf. We're all our own bosses. We're all business leaders in, in a way. We're all uh, employers. Uh, and we're so, we're so much more than people think. And we're just trying to kind of get all that across as well, that uh, we're, we're a pretty, pretty uh, well-rounded group out here. The LPGA Tour was established in 1950 by 13 players who are known simply as the founders. In addition to teeing it up, they also organized the tour and promoted and ran the tournaments. As a result, the subsequent generations of LPGA players are acutely aware of the tremendous sacrifices the founders made. What Drive On talks about is what the LPGA has been about for 70 years. I mean, the women out here will tell you that they're out here because of the women that came before them. We're standing on, on their shoulders. If you're one of the best female athletes in the world in your sport, You've gone through your levels of pushback. You've had a lot of people tell you, not here, not now. Girls, you don't play before 12 o'clock at this country club. Please move down to that end of the range. The current crop of LPGA Tour players are also well aware of the importance of being accessible to fans. That's another element of the drive on message, to make sure there's a new generation who know they will be readily embraced by the game of golf. I think it's easy to get spoon-fed and sort of take everything for granted, but a lot of us are, I think, um, pretty good at giving back and sort of realizing, I know, we're like this little tiny person on this planet. What's great about this tour is all the girls really understand, and we have this same goal of trying to leave the world a little bit better than how we entered it. And I mean, for us, we all had role models. And uh, for me, when Sari Pack won the um, US Open at Black Wolf Run, I pretty much started golf the next day um, because I saw someone that looked like me on TV, which I'd never seen before. Like someone that looked like me that was on TV performing at a high level in athletics. You know, I grew up uh, starting to play golf when I was really young and uh, I would go out and play in events at my home course and I would maybe be paired with a 40-year-old man and an 85-year-old woman. And there I was as an eight-year-old. And we can all go out and enjoy this sport together. It just really puts a smile on my face. You know, obviously we're doing all the right things and getting more girls involved with the game of golf, which is awesome. And um, it, just the drive on, I think, is really going to inspire even more kids and more people to get into the game of golf and, and to follow the LPGA, which is awesome. And the great news is that the growth of the women's game is set to continue. Whether it be domestically in the US 
or even more crucially, in developing golfing nations like China, the future looks very rosy. And going forward, the success of the drive-on message can only enhance golf's development. I always tell people in the industry, if you don't want change as it relates to women's golf, too bad. You're going to have to get out of the way because change is coming. You know, one, the fastest growing segment of golf in a lot of countries is girls under the age of 18, as it is in America. So there's more young girls entering this game than ever before. So the future of this game is going to be more female. And so uh, change in this game as it relates to women professional athletes is, is coming. So buckle up because I think what 2019 and Drive On represents is a message that's been around a long time. The, but the momentum behind that message is like we've never seen it before.